Windhoek, a modern city in modern Africa. After 27 years of independence, the economy is still growing to reach its full potential. This video will illustrate the challenges the country faces regarding business development and how young entrepreneurs are trying to overcome them. We don't have a strong culture of starting businesses in Namibia and as a result of this, there's not a lot of expertise walking around that can assist people in that process of taking a business idea, turning it into a business plan and taking it to financiers. It's very important that businesses try and focus on innovative ideas that serve the problems and the needs of our individuals. The following local startups have identified some of these needs and are working on the solutions. Namibia has one of the highest road accident rates worldwide. That's why GoSafe is tackling the issue of expensive road accident premiums. The company provides quick and cheap insurances to low-income people, almost instantly obtainable via text message or at vending machines in service stations. For any African startup, young person, the challenge is finance and capital. And it's the same for GoSafe as well. Eventually you overcome all those things if you are able to have the passion and the perseverance. And what I see for GoSafe is a product that creates employment for other young people and a standard Namibian brand that can go beyond the Namibian borders. Another problem is access to services, especially in Namibia's informal settlements. In this context, the AppLock8 wants to offer a location-based advertising platform, an e-wallet and Wi-Fi to people who don't have registered businesses or bank accounts but do have smartphones. If we had um, information hubs and access to mentors, access to the right channels, distribution channels, if we have access to patient money, then we can build, we can go to market, we can commercialize, we can scale, we can expand. Um, but that's not the case. We had to self-fund most of the applications that we built. We obviously want to have a case study here. And once you grow across the border, then you have a product that you say it's working within this environment, with this kind of setup. Imagine if you scale it in Rwanda, or Joburg, or Maputo, or Harare. Worldview Investments has been part of an eco-entrepreneurship workshop provided by HSF and the NBII and aims to solve Namibia's sanitation problem. The waterless eco-toilet is produced locally and affordable for low-income households in areas without sewage systems. Many of us believe that the, the structures and the things that we find in this world are just permanent and that's the way they have been. The country is going through a technical recession, but this is really the time when people become very innovative. And I think a lot of people have that belief now where they say, oh, look, we can actually do something to add value. Still, it will take time for the youth and the economy to move away from safe employment or low-risk SMEs to fully embrace true entrepreneurship. But this cultural process is taking place right here, right now.